Dear students, my name is Prem Kumar K, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Grade College, Chikbalapur. I am going to teach for the course BA. My subject is Optional English for the semester 5th. My part is Section B, that is Short Fiction by Lalitambika Antarjanam. The topic is Revenge Herself. In the beginning, let us know the background of the poet Lalitambika Antarjanam. Lalitambika Antarjanam was born in Kottavattam, Kottarkara, that is in Kerala, in Nambodiri family. She was influenced by Mahatma Gandhiji and the social reform movement among the Nambodiri caste led by V.T. Bhatha Tripad. She was awarded Sahitya Academy Award for her novel Agni Sakshi. She writes more on Nambudiri community as she was very much familiar about her community. She opts that in order to write the situations and conditions of Nambudari families. In Nambudari community, the women were called as Antarjanams, which means who lived inside. Next, let us move on to what is feminism. Feminism is a range of social, political and economic movement. It stresses more on political, social and economic equality irrespective of the sexes and gender. Its main ideology is to equate the gender, means to see equality in the society among the different sexes. It also fights against gender inequality and gender stereotypes. Feminist movements also campaign for women's rights. Feminists work to protect women and girls from rape, sexual harassment and domestic violence. Totally, feminists fight for the social justice of women. Then let us discuss about women's condition in the Nambudiri families of Kerala. Nambudiri girls live very restricted lives in Nambudiri families as they should not come outside, they should not look at other men. Once they attained puberty, they were regarded as Asurya Pasikal, means who should never see the sun, means they remain in the, among the four walls. They have to follow lot of customs and traditions and they have to follow 64 Anacharams, means customs. They should not look at other men other than their husbands. In the Nambudri families, there was a typical custom which was only the eldest son has to inherit the property. He has to marry within the community, leaving many women unmarried. Then let us discuss the description of female protagonists in the works of Lalitambika Antarjana. In the works of Lalitambika Antarjana, women's lives were portrayed as how they were trapped in traditional Nambudari families. In her works, the women were displayed as the signs of individuated. 
the women attempt to resist restricted traditions and ritual customs but fail to outcome those customs and traditions of nambudari society the young adar janam means moodu padathi means within the veil struggles against her existence as the co-wife of old man if she is reserved for the old man and the widow of kutta samatam means the confession speaks in a in defense of sexual transgression means the women should not speak of anything even then they feel about sexuality thank you